So you might be wondering why I'm making this video again. Well, it looks like once again, James Charles has been exposed. If you don't know... <laughs> If you don't know already, this is the guy who came out of his story talking about uh, what James Charles did to him. So, without further ado, we're gonna take a look at this. showing the part two first before the first part because I didn't I didn't know if part one was still around and uh, luckily some people found it so that's probably it from there and uh, yeah then James Charles came out of a statement of his own but I will have to read the other guy's statement first This is the original tweets that have been deleted by Twitter because they don't understand that these are allegation videos and they're not something else. So I don't know why they would remove that. Probably has to do with some sort of wording that Twitter has triggered on for uh, deleting. So anyway, I'm trying to post proof but saying my tweets aren't sending Give me a couple minutes. For everyone who says it's from Google, I have me opening them in real time. I'm not lying. And on the next tweet here, he says, I had to screen record it from my notes because it wasn't sending on here. Here is me in real time opening a snap. Just watch you show up and look as fuck. Ha ha ha. As you can see, it...
There's a video going around about me on TikTok and Twitter of a guy calling me groomer, and I want to address it right away. The accusation that I have groomed this person is completely false. And last week, I came across someone on my Instagram Explore page, saw so he found me, and had him on Snapchat. The next morning, I woke up to several snaps from this person being excited. I added him back, saying he loved me, and I also blew photos of himself in the shower. I asked how old he was right away, and he told me he was 18, so I started putting back. In the excitement of meeting someone I thought could be potentially great, I didn't ask for a copy of his ID or passport. It's now clear, based on the video he uploaded, he was taking photos of me with another device and had a neural motive from the beginning. Later that day, he said a few things that made me question the modality of his original age answer and when I asked him to confirm his age once again, he admitted that he was 16. I told him that he was really, I was really uncomfortable and apologized for flirting. But he insisted on continuing on talking, saying it could be our little secret. He's a fan of mine and would never tell anyone. I told him I wasn't okay with this. He started getting upset, and at this point, I'm in front of him. I, we haven't spoken since. I'm not victim blaming him or victimizing myself, either. simply sharing what happened, and what happened was not okay. After false allegations like this in the past, I would never knowingly engage with anyone underage and put my life on the line for a few Snapchats. Because of situations like this, instead of taking someone's word for it, I now will ask to see the ID or password of every guy I have a conversation with. <sighs> James, we both know I block you and you never asked me for my age. After I told you I was 16, you proceeded to ask me for nudes and said it didn't matter. You call me hot and said, I wish the timeline could speed up so you can be 18. I just, this is what I don't get about James Charles sometimes. Like, I know that some people out there aren't gonna like play me, play me on YouTube again like I did last time because I did a, I did make an exposed video on James Charles last time and I'm making one right now again because this is true. This really has to be true. I mean, if you don't believe me, take it from the man himself. And I usually don't agree with anything he says, but he... He knows the the laws here. Okay, I just triple checked, got off the phone with my attorney just to make sure I'm putting out the right messaging. Yeah, according to state laws, it's a crime. But also, according to federal law, federal law, the entire United States, if an adult sends nude pictures of themselves, to a minor, even if that minor is lying about their age, it's a crime. It's a federal fucking crime, all right? So, uh, you know, I put out a statement saying, well, it doesn't matter. And a lot of people got upset, but they lied. It doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter. I say it doesn't matter because it doesn't fucking matter. A crime, allegedly, was still committed. It's a federal fucking crime. Don't be sending new pictures to anybody online. And if you're James Charles, you're an idiot because you got fucking busted for this a year ago. I don't know what the fuck you're doing, James. You're just a fucking idiot. Five different Twitter users so far that I know of, including the 16-year-old that made the exposing video of James Charles have the video locked down by Twitter. Some are locked out of their accounts for 12 hours. To be safe, I deleted my vid and reached out to Twitter for help. Now I'm 
furious about the situation with James Charles. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking done with it, right? Fucking three times a year, we're reporting a story that somebody on TikTok is exposing James Charles for private messages, right? Oh, he was sending sexualist stuff to me, and even though I told him I was straight, and he kept pursuing me. And then, you know, James Charles will put out a defense. Well, he was queer baiting me. He lied. He said that he was, you know, bi curious or whatever. This has happened so many fucking times. I don't even remember how many times it fucking happened. The point is, is how does James keep getting caught up? We always come to the conclusion that James Charles is the victim, and these other people are just out for clout and attention. Okay. Okay, but now we got two situations, and regardless if they lied about their age or not, James Charles most likely committed a fucking crime. You can't send naked pictures to yourself, to a minor, even if that kid lied about his age. Still a fucking crime. The law doesn't fucking care. And now this has happened twice. In, in less than a year, both of this has happened. Let me ask yourself a question. We're always coming to the conclusion, poor James, James is the victim. But there are other influences, influencers out there, like, uh, let's say, Corpse Husband, who have so many underage girl fans that if he were to message them and be like, hey, what's up? How old are you? Of course those girls would lie. So Corpse still continue to talk to him. We know that to be true, that the kids lie so they can talk to their fucking hero. But we're not running stories on Corpse Husband. Corpse Husband isn't getting caught. Corpse, Corpse Husband isn't getting exposed. Because he's not fucking doing that. But you know who keeps putting himself in this situation? James Charles. After almost getting it canceled, after this story's being huge and everyone covering it, and all the drama channels talk covering it, he still gets by, by, by the skin of his fucking teeth and continues the fucking behavior. All right? I don't think James is a victim anymore. It doesn't matter that kids want clout, that kids lie. He's acting fucking stupid. He's acting reckless. He's messaging fans for hookups and he's getting caught up for himself. Even Trisha Paytas agrees that this is like, like a not okay thing. And so, and, and it's really not a okay thing because she also called out some people who are defending James Charles for being disgusting. I made an exposed video on James Charles like back in 2020 last year during COVID era. And you know what? I'm going to say this again, like I said last time. The fact, the fact that he's doing this again is just completely a heart at this point. James Charles knows better. He should not even try to talk to a minor. The fact that he can tease to do so every single time on social media like Instagram, most likely Instagram, and Snapchat too, then you know he's going to get a lot of backlash and heat from this. Because, again, he should not be doing this. The fact that he continues to do it is the reason why I made my last video on him when I defended Ethan Rett last year. And I still stand by by what I said and I'm going to say it in a different way right now that that James Charles is responsible for what he does on the platform. Every time he fucks it up by doing something so incredibly stupid over the years, it lets, lets me to not believe him any further than right now. Because right now, I 
am far from believing in what James Charles says because I don't watch his stupid beauty makeup tutorial content thing. If James Charles were really telling the truth, to which I'm sh I'm sure he has now brought up some evidence before, because he did that last year when he was exposed for it. I made a video recently about about uh about it that some guy exposed James Charles and James Charles exposed him back by bringing back receipts this time. This time he only came out on a statement on another person that exposed him. And judging from what I can see, he didn't bring up any receipts to defend himself and his claims. So, the only thing I can get from James Charles is to, like, Oh, I don't have evidence, but believe me anyway, kind of bullshit. If you're gonna come out with a written statement that you took like a few hours to read in about, at least bring the, bring the counter evidence that you have on with it. At least to do that. You don't need to keep on like <sighs> I just don't know what's wrong with you James Charles every single time it's it's the same damn thing you know and I'm glad I don't watch your content anyway you're just a bad influence now your career should have ended a long time ago when the other two boys from 2019 exposed you too. Remember that? Yeah. I never forget. 